Hello and welcome to another World of Warships video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, this one's actually going to be semi-instructional. Um, if you've noticed the title, this one is How to Clemson in Co-op Part 1. Um, this is a match I played during the recent Vampire Missions. Um, and I played it in co-op and I played it in Clemson because I knew this is a good ship for grinding out that mission for you know securing kills for grinding out damage um and we're on the archipelago map and um this was something a little bit special um but at the same time it illustrates pretty well how clemson works and how strong it is so, initially, um, headed to A, and um, Clemson is leading the charge. Um, I've got a pair of cruisers backing me up. Uh, one of them is, I believe, a Furutaka. The other one is a Kuma. Um, all three of us are headed to A. Um, so I'm not going in alone, but I am going in, and I am going in with um, substantially less caution than you have to use in a random battle. Um, and that's intentional. And we have first contact, an enemy Clemson. Um, shots out. And yeah, no hits, first salvo. Um, not too concerned about that enemy Clemson. He's at the edge of the range. My, he's at the edge of my torpedo range. I can't really get a shot at him, so I'd have to hammer him with guns. And the only thing he's really doing is spotting me, which means that everybody is shooting at me. But oh well. I am, however, focused on this Clemson ahead of me. Torpedoes are out on him, and uh, he's coming around that island. I'm going to line up the shots with the guns and start working him over. And those are looking good. Uh, boom. The Kumo take, took some shots at him, but uh, most of that was mine. In fact, most of that was the torpedoes. And the reason I said this is a little bit of an educational video is that shows how you Kill destroyers in Clemson. You use the guns to work them over, and then you hit them with the torpedoes. And the Furutaka is burning. Um, he's pulled in behind this island to give him some cover. There's an enemy Kuma on the other side of the island, and an enemy Sl Sletvana. Ugh. I have trouble pronouncing that one. So, um, I'm going to come around this island, and I'm going to do something about both of those ships for that for our friendly Furutaka and Kuma. Now the Kuma is working an angle and getting into a position where he can try and do something about the set the slut Um but yeah. So we now have a firing angle on the Kuma and one spread out. Now, I'm only firing a single bag of three because that's all it's going to take for a Kuma at this range and I'm not going to miss. Coming around the island, I still have three torpedoes on that side that have not been fired yet. I've got a firing angle on the Svetlana, and boom, torpedoes are out. The Kumas uh, and the Furutaka's torpedoes are going to miss my And now for the battleships coming up. In the Ogi, uh, I basically am coming in on a head-on vector slightly off to the side. That limits hit the number of guns he can bear to bring to bear on me until I cross over into his broadside, and by then it's too late. Uh, he did take some hits from something before me, uh, and there's the carrier trying to help me. Um, but, yeah. Uh, now for the Wyoming. Again, the same tactic applies. Close in head-on. Um, pull off to the side to create a firing angle when you have a good angle so that you're going to get the 
majority of their side. You drop torpedoes. That's six out. And... Boom. Five hits. And one dead Wyoming. And now for the Langley. Um, this Langley, by the way, is done. Uh, even though he hasn't taken a single lick of damage from me, or I don't think anybody else at this point. And yes, the anti-aircraft alarm is going off. That, that little rat, 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 hat gun fire sound that you hear, that's the anti-aircraft alarm that lets you know that somebody is flying over your ship. Um, you're not really going to shoot much down in this thing, so it just kind of serves to make you feel better. Well, I actually guess it did shoot something down. But uh, it just serves to make you shoot to feel better and let you know that there are aircraft over. But it was as, as I was saying, this Langley is done. Um, and the simple reason is there is a Clemson inside gun range. So he's been spotted. He can't run away. Um, and it's just a matter of time until I kill him either with guns or torpedoes or both. And I do have a cruiser following me, supporting me. Um, I'm not sure if it's the Furutaka or the Kuma. doesn't really matter. Um, the, you know, he's going to get some licks in, but um, there's the torpedoes out, and switch back to the guns, and just keep working this thing over. Um, I could sink this guy with guns. The reason I'm using torpedoes is time. Um, and in co-op matches, time is an enemy. You want to end things quick. Uh, it applies in random, too, because the longer it takes to do something, the more chance that the enemy is going to manage to... Um, and here I'm turning. I'm trying to get the other bank of torpedoes brought into bear, but no need. That's a match. So, uh, how did I do? Well, let's take a look at that for a second. Because... Um, the answer, I think, is going to be pretty illuminating. I said this match was How to Clemson, and um, let's take a look. 138,677 damage, 56 gun hits, 17 torpedo hits, and 6 ships destroyed. I mean, there's some other ribbons, too, that are up there, and those are all well and good, but that's the big numbers. And if we look on top of the team by a massive margin, um, and it's not that the enemy team, not the enemy team, the rest of the players on my team played badly. They didn't. What happened is when you're in a Clemson and you know how to get the most out of the ship, um, especially in co-op, you're going to become a dominant force. And that's not saying that Clemson is overpowered. It's just the ship is good, and if you know how to use it, um, its advantages lend itself very well to co-op play. Uh, as far as the detailed reports, I mean, yeah, I, I, the, I, think, I imagine the only, it looks like the only ship that I probably did less than 10,000 damage on was the enemy... Clemson that I sank right at the very beginning, and it's the one you can't see, but that's all right. And how about XP? Well, uh, 66,000 credits um, at the you know, before they take stuff out. Even after they took out 12,000 credits for um, service, ammo, and camouflage, I still walked away with almost 57 million or yeah, yeah 57,000 credits. Uh, 556 XP, 28 free XP. Um, in co-op match, that's pretty good, especially uh, if this isn't the first match of the day and you don't have those daily modifiers kicking in. Uh, but yes, very good match in the Clemson, and I think it illustrates how to play Clemson in co-op pretty well. This won't be the only one of these because there's some stuff that's amusing coming up but yes how to clemson in co-op anyway guys have a nice day and enjoy yourselves